Hey everyone, it's Katie with One Music School, and today we're going to learn what a beautiful name by Hillsong on the guitar. Don't forget to check out the description box below for my website. There you can find out more information about how to set up a one-on-one -on -one Skype lesson with me. Also, there is a free chord chart. Don't forget to hit subscribe and the like button. They let me know that you like these videos and you'd like to see more. If you want to be a part of the notification squad, don't forget to hit the bell. Leave that in the comment section below and you could receive a shout out in my next video. Hi Samuel, I hope you're having a wonderful day. Get into the tutorial. So this is a great song if you're just trying to break into the bar chords. We need a D major first. So finger number three is going to be on the third fret of the B string. Then fingers one and two will be on the second fret of the G and the E string. We'll need a G. So you're going to keep finger number three where it is. You're gonna plant your pinky underneath on the third fret of the E string. Lift off fingers one and two. Now finger number two will be on the third fret of the E string and finger number one on the second fret of the A string. 
Now you can use whatever jew you want. I've seen it done this way and this way, just whatever's comfortable. We need an A, so I use all three fingers in a row on the second fret of the D, G, and the B string. And then we need a B minor. Now, if this is your first bar chord, I want you to take your finger and roll it onto its side. Bring your elbow just a little bit closer to your body for a little bit of leverage right there. You're not gonna bar the entire second fret, but these five strings and you're gonna to try to avoid this string right here, or use the very tip of your pointer finger to mute that E string. So all you have to do is just lightly touch it and it'll mute it. Now I'm going to take fingers three and four. I'm going to place that on the fourth fret of the G and the D string. Third fret, second finger of the B string. Now F sharp minor and B minor, they're cousins. They're very similar. You're going to keep barring the second fret, but now completely bar the second fret. Your ring finger and your pinky come up one closer to the ceiling. And now you're going to be on the fourth fret of the A and the D string. So no middle finger, that's just gonna hang out. Now one quick chord that we need is the D over F sharp, that's an inverted chord. Find your regular D and your thumb is going to curl over and push down on the second fret. And you don't need a ton of pressure, but you will notice that if you're closer to the fret, the easier it's going to be. Because you want that F sharp to come out. And now for the simple counts. So for the first verse, I'm just strumming a D chord. That's it, it's pretty simple. But once we get to verse two, we have D for eight counts. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, G for two counts. B minor for two counts. Then A for four. One, two, three, four. B minor. One, two, three, four, D. One, two, three, four, G for two counts. B minor for two counts. A for four. One, two, three, four. For the chorus, we have D. One, two, three, four, A. One, two, three, four, B minor for two, A for two, and then G for four. One, two, three, four, D over F sharp. One, two, three, four, A, one, two, three, four, B minor, one, two, A, three, four, then G for four, one, two, three, four. For the instrumental and the bridge, we have G for four, one, two, three, four, A, one, two, three, four, B minor, one, two, three, four, F sharp minor, one, two, three, four. Now there is kind of a way that you can get around that particular F sharp minor in the bridge. If you're like, I just don't want to do another bar chord. Like I understand. <laughs> so uh, what you could do that could possibly fit is just do a D over F sharp because you have that F sharp in there. So it would sound like this. A, B minor, Now for the strumming pattern. You could keep this as simple as you'd like. You could just strum down one, two, three, four, or down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. What I'm doing in the play along is down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up. So please note that each down, down, up is going to equal to one count. So if I wanna play something for two counts, I have to play that down, down, up, twice. So I'm going to play the chorus with the strumming pattern so that you can hear how it all sounds together. So we have D, one, and a two, and a three, and a four, A, one, and a two, and a three, and a B minor, one, and a A, G, one, and a two, and a three, D over F sharp. Be my nerd. 
Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed this rhythm acoustic guitar version of What a Beautiful Name by Hillsong, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. 4, G, 1, 4. That was a D. Darn it, darn it. Darn it, I was so close. <laughs> well, duh, it's the D, Katie. It's the chorus. Okay, you can do this.